Hi everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be reviewing the new Garmin Forerunner 255S. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly, and so you can help the channel grow. So I have the Forerunner 255S here in the color powder gray, and the current prices as of recording are $459.99 Canadian or $349.99 American. So I've also done a full unboxing of this watch. If you missed that and you wanna see it, you can find that in the top right or in the description below when you're done watching this. All right guys, so this is what it looks like on me. And I do have a seven inch wrist and I've gone ahead and placed all the wrist sizes this can fit on screen for you guys. So this has a silicone band here. You can see it has this little textured gridded pattern on it. And I actually find this band very comfortable to wear. So this watch has a 1.1 inch sunlight visible transflective display. It has a Gorilla Glass 3 lens, a 20 millimeter quick release silicone watch band. It has built in GPS, GLONASS, Bluetooth. It weighs 39 grams. It tracks a variety of activities such as runs, biking, open water swimming, triathlons, and more. It has built in SpO2 so you can track your blood oxygen saturation. You can also track your stress. It monitors that all day for you. It has Garmin Coach, so you can do some coached running or cycling. You can see your smartwatch notifications, answer or deny phone calls, reply to text messages. It tracks a variety of daily metrics, such as steps, floors climbed, calories burned. It's also water resistant up to five ATM. So you can go ahead and wear this in the pool, in the rain, in the snow, in the shower, and more, and you have no issues. You can even use the buttons underwater. As this is a button operated watch, it also has Garmin Pay. Now these are not all of the spec features on these watch, but these are definitely some of the most important, I think. And if you have, you know, any specs about this watch that I missed that you think are important, definitely drop them in the comments below. So right now you're seeing the display under some lighting and I have the backlight off right now. So kind of depending on the angle, you know, I'm showing you guys because there's a light above me, but um, this is kind of how it appears. So. It's very easy to see, guys. And you can change the background to being black or white depending on the type of contrast you're looking for. So I'll just quickly show you guys an example of that. So here is a white background. Some of you might prefer this type of background. So which background do you think looks better, the white background or the black background? Comment below. Um, once again, this is the display indoors under some lighting. And here it is outdoors in the natural lighting. So. I'm finding this watch very easy to read, guys. I find Garmin's transflective displays easy to read outdoors, and if you're someone who likes to do a lot of outdoor activities, you're really gonna appreciate that. And it's been an overcast day today, but it looks equally as great when it's like bright, sunny outside. All right, guys, so one thing I really like about this watch is that it gives you a morning message. As soon as you wake up in the morning, you will see the weather, you're gonna see the time, the date, and then you can see a suggested workout for today. You can see how you slept. And this is just the overview of how you slept. Once you go into the sleep widget, you can see more information. And if you just actually leave it on its own, it just starts to scroll automatically. And here is our HRV status. Here's the weather for today. And once you sync your watch to your phone, you kind of get more accurate information. I haven't done that yet today. And then it just gives you a little message, which I love gives you a nice little kind of motivating message. All right guys, so when it comes to sleep tracking, I'm finding this watch has been pretty accurate in my experience so far. Um, one of Garmin's best, I dare say. So I don't do, you know, technical analysis of sleep. I'm not the quantified scientist. For me, I just wanna know, hey, is my watch tracking my sleep accurately, you know? You kinda have a feel of how you slept generally. Um, if you wake up, you're gonna know, okay, last night I woke up a couple times and I went to the bathroom. Did my watch pick that up? You're gonna wanna know, you know, what time you woke up, what time you went to bed. Is that accurate on your watch? And for me, those things are accurate. So take a Garmin's, you know, sleep tracking with a grain of salt. It's definitely not as good as Fitbit, but I think that this one is pretty good. So the sleep score here, we could see says 79. We can see sleep quality and you could see a little graph of your sleep here as well as a sleep message. So it says that I had continuous sleep. Now going down, 
we can see a little graph of all your sleep stages. So we have deep REM, light, and awake, as well as the graph kind of representing that. And it shows the time you fell asleep and the time you woke up. Going down here, we can see our sleep duration, and it's pretty much that same graph information, but in numbers to make it a little bit easier to see. And then I have, you know, a graph showing the last couple days of sleep. And we have another graph showing that as well. And here I have my Fitbit Lux. We could see on the forerunner here that my sleep score is 79. First off, sleep time is different. So here to here, it's lower. We can see the sleep score, which is the exact same, pretty spot on. That's all the information we see here. If I go into the app, we can see kind of more detailed information for the Fitbit. We can see that the trends are very similar. The times, you know, awake are kind of aligning up pretty well. We can see the time I fell asleep and the time I woke up. And here, so 06, 012, and then we can see here 721 and 724. So pretty, pretty similar there, guys. All right, guys, so this smartwatch has a quoted battery life of up to 12 days as a smartwatch. So with my uses, which are things like GPS walks and runs, daily alarms, timers, and more, I have gotten on average nine days of battery life with this watch. Now, for me, guys, that is fantastic. I charge this thing like once every other week. You can kind of just charge it and forget about it, and I love that. But just keep in mind, guys, that the battery life I get might be different from what you get. You know, you might get something higher, or something lower. It really depends on your individual usage. So I'm just gonna show you guys what a text message looks like on here. So text just pops up on basically any screen that you're at. And then you can scroll through it using these buttons here. You can dismiss, you can call the person back, it's gonna call using your phone, you can reply or you can block. If you hit reply, you have these pre-made options. So you can actually customize these and kind of change what options are here in the Garmin app. But I'm just gonna show you guys all the options I currently have on here. And if you want to, you can just go ahead and click any of these and it's gonna send the message on your phone. All right, so now I'm gonna get into women's health tracking. So if you're a male or someone else who doesn't wanna see this section, I've gone ahead and left timestamps in the description below and kind of cards on the bottom of the video here. So you can go ahead and skip to the next section. So there is an optional women's health tracking app that you can download in the Garmin Connect IQ store. It looks like this. So once you go ahead and install it on your watch, you're gonna get this cycle tracking app. So you can just click on that, it's gonna tell you the cycle day you're in. So here we can see the different options we can track. And these are symptoms that you can track every single day, not just when you're on your period. And then there's mood as well. And I love that we have a wide variety of moods here, not just, you know, typical happy, sad. So here's the discharge data. And you can say if you're ovulating or not. If you know you are, you can click that. It'll save it for you. Sex drive, you can choose one of these options. And period day. If you're on your period and your watch didn't pick that up, you go ahead and click this so your watch knows it's your period. And then you can go ahead and track your flow intensity. So you can choose from low, medium, and heavy for your flow. So this watch has been pretty accurate in my experience. When it comes to your steps, I'm finding this thing has been like almost spot on. I'm getting the exact same steps I'm getting with other smartwatches. I tried counting, you know, taking a hundred steps, just walking around. And when I reached a hundred, it was at 101. So, hey, I'm finding that pretty accurate <laughs> there. And the heart rate sensor here is the updated heart rate sensor we are seeing from Garmin. And it's doing a really good job with the, you know, heart rate data as well as the sleep tracking. Cause I know sleep tracking uses that as well. Another thing about this watch is that the GPS has been awesome in my experience. One thing, it will connect really fast. Like as soon as I get outside, it will connect within about five to 10 seconds. So I'm inside right now. I don't know if it will connect, but let's see. And when it connects, um, oh, it just connected. See, within about five to 10 seconds, as I said, and this is me inside. So that is awesome and reliable. I haven't had it drop on me once with this watch so far, <laughs> you know, knock on wood. So for my runners out there, I'm not actually gonna go super into depth about the running aspects of this watch. It's a forerunner. It can track a huge amount of running 
activities, specs, data, all of that fun stuff. Um, I have on screen for you guys a multitude of the things this watch can do and track when you are running. Personally, I'm not the biggest runner out there, guys, but I do like to run occasionally, you know, to get my cardio in, in addition to, you know, my cycling, yoga, and other activities. But I have been using this watch for the last couple of weeks and it's been very accurate in all of my runs that I have done so far. So if you are a runner looking for a great mid-tier watch that's gonna track things accurately, and has Pace Pro, suggested workouts, all of that stuff, then I definitely think this could be a great option for you. The durability on this watch has been pretty good. So the watch band, looking at that, it has been holding up very nicely. I haven't had any fading or um, you know issues yet with that. And I've had this for about three weeks and no issues with anything kind of falling apart or getting worn down. The display here, you know, it's made of Gorilla Glass 3, pretty strong, but whenever I'm using Gorilla Glass, I always wear a screen protector just in case because Gorilla Glass is scratch prone. It's not sapphire glass. It is going to scratch over time. And then the little bezel here is the only part of the watch that you know, is concerning for me. Um, typically on the Forerunners, I find this part is the part that scratches very easily and is noticeable when you get scratches on there. All right guys, so now I'm gonna show you all the pre-installed watch faces that came downloaded with this watch. And one great thing is that you can customize them. So you can go ahead and you can change the background color from black to white. And you can also change the accent color. You could change that to a different color if you want to basically every color in the rainbow. But if you're someone you want, you know, some more watch face options, let's say none of these are really calling out to you, you can definitely go on the Garmin Connect IQ app and get some free watch faces there. They have a bunch of different watch faces for the Forerunner 255S here, and a lot of them are free. All right guys, so considering the price, the quality, the color, the performance, accuracy, the battery life, the ease of use, and everything like that, I would go ahead and give this an 8.6 out of 10. I definitely do give it a thumbs up. So if you guys are looking to get the Forerunner 255S, I've gone ahead and left a link down in the description for you to use. And if there's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching guys and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.